The findings of a draft environmental review of a proposed Enbridge Energy Oil Pipeline are being discussed in a series of statewide meetings. As Mel Meyer reports from Staples, community members there are using their voices to speak up about areas they feel could use more research. The public meetings are being held in various cities along the proposed route in the many alternatives. This is one of the alternative routes. Residents are able to speak with staff members from the Minnesota Department of Commerce about the findings of the nearly 3,000 page document. Hopefully that will help inform any comments that they may have on the draft environmental impact statement. While the agency says a decision will not be swayed by personal opinions, some residents wanted to have them heard anyway. Peter Klink says he's in favor of the project because it may be better than moving oil by truck or train. We need fuel in this country and it's the safest way to, to you know, transport fuel. Others like Lisa Kyer are not so sure. She sees a lot of oil being moved by train near her cabin on Fish Trap Lake. If a pipeline goes by the lake, that just doubles our chances of an environmental disaster. Transportation and other concerns have been assessed in the draft environmental impact statement. Some of the finer details may need to be investigated further. Who from central Minnesota will actually get a job from this project. Nancy Tierhark wants staff to look at the impact of a potential spill on the Pineland Sands Aquifer. There were seven spill study sites, but that was not one of them. And a more thorough analysis of different locations is needed. The Minnesota DOC will hold 10 more public meetings ending in Bemidji on June 22nd. In Staples, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The final draft is expected to be completed by the end of the summer. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.